Oops, how's it doing? How's it doing? How's it doing? How you doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, happy Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, folks. I am here, and I just realized I forgot my water, so I'll be right back. Oh, thank goodness. Let's see if anyone's joining us today. All right. Um, no one here so far. Just wanted to point out for you, we have um, what was it? Uh, full body circuit. Oh, I have a here. Whoop, whoop. Yay. Happy Tuesday. Um, wait, today is... That's who's there. It says my bra, right? Think so? Um, yeah. Happy, happy. Uh, hope you're having fun today. We're going to lift some weights. How about it? Um, I've got an old playlist, full body circuit, and it's all 80s music. I'm very excited about this because I love 80s music. Um, basically, we're just going to be lifting a lot of... I lift a lot of shit today. That's, that's all there is to it. So... Um, I would probably recommend a chair or a bench. Um, I've got one over here that I'm going to bring out. So go grab a chair or your sofa, get things strategized, strategized um, for how you're going to do that. And uh, otherwise, I'm going to get started. The remote. Oh my gosh, I'm all over the place. All right. So we're going to pl press, pray, pl press play. In three, two, one, here we go. I have nothing planned today other than we're just going to lift weights. So, without further ado, let's get started. Oh, wait, hold on. Something's not messed up. All right. Oh, yeah, I got a new phone, folks. Woo -woo. Thank you. Case comes tonight, so that means I have about. Two, uh, two or three hours to like completely F it up. We'll find out. Fingers crossed I can make it. All right, let's get started with some taps, front, side, back. We're gonna start really slow. Lower body workout, yay! We're gonna go three in this direction, then we're gonna go three back, so back, side, out. Just three, each direction, each side, then we go other side, side, back. Slowly waking up those hips. We're going to wake them up even more after this move. I right, go back, back, side, front, back, side, front. Shake it out. Now we're going to do knee up, around, down, up, around, down. Again, three and three. So now we're going to go back, up, and around. If you need to lean on something for support while you're doing this, I should be doing that. All right. Up, round. Cry, you're wearing my shirt today. I don't know if you are, but if you are, high five. And if you're not, high five still. Let's go back. Woo! Oh my lordy, McGordy. Last one. Let's do some leg swings. Making sure that you're really trying to go as high as you can, stretching the hamstring with the foot flex. Not arching the back as you move back, keeping your back straight. Pelvis and, neutral, pelvis and neutral spine. Words. Words. Let's string them together and make sentences, shall we? And let's go to the other side. Craig, I hope you're doing well. I think North Carolina, in addition to California, that you may be the only two states that are not under like six inches plus of snow. Ah, it's cold and frigid everywhere. I hope you're staying warm and dry wherever you are. All right, let's go side to side. Okay, you got any requests today? Today's back to basics day. We're just gonna be doing a lot of like squats and lunges. May actually do some uh, Bulgarian split squats because I hate those. So why not do them together? We're doing lower body, so you'll want some lower body, like heavier weights if you can. Do a little torso twist action because we may be having, if we have time, we'll do some core today. Maybe we'll go for a full 10 minutes. They don't keep it shorter on the legs and a little more ab 
abs. Craig, I hope you're doing well. If you're working out with us later, I hope you're doing well too. Enjoying here in California. It's almost 70 today. It's so awesome. And let's just squat, toes, warming everything up. Going sitting down, chair height, keeping your back straight. All right. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Hopefully your legs are feeling nice and warm. Maybe getting some snow tomorrow. I would say is everybody freaking out that everybody's already home. Um, for those of you who don't know, North Carolina, probably similarly to Texas, when you get snow, the throw of snow, everything shuts down and you just stay at home. Um, you guys are already home, so I hope you stay safe. Um, because driving around in North Carolina roads, that was a fun challenge. Driving on ice. All right, we are going to start with just doing some calf raises. Um, so I'm going to grab my 40s, my 40 ounces. Oof. All right. So we're going to do a couple of sets of 20, okay? We're going to do two sets facing forward. We're going to do two sets. Toes point out and two sets, uh, toes inward. But let's start our feet parallel, making sure that as you come up, you don't do a little wobbly thing with your ankles, trying to go straight up, okay? Pay attention to that. If your ankles are wobbly, slow it down, lower your weight, and you try something else, all right? Here we go, three, two, one. Up, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Oof. I'm gonna move my <laughs> bench a little closer. So I can put my weights on my bench. I'm also gonna turn my fan on. It's so funny, like Put those weights down and then coming up without them is like, oh, okay. All right. Round two, feet straight ahead. Here we go. One, two. We're doing a lot of calf work today. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, whew, five, four, Three, two, and one. Woo! Shake it out. Calves are probably feeling that right now. Oh. All right. Here we go. Feet out. All right. Ankles still go straight up. Three, two, one. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Now that we're on reps, we finished reps 40 to 60. Woo! Maybe do a little set break with some stretching. We are like, we're halfway through the calves. I know, right? This is horrible. <laughs> All right. Toes out, shake it out. Three, two, one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Woo. How you doing, Craig? Do good so far? Oh. All right, so we're working different sides of the calves. So now we're gonna have our pinching toes working. Uh, let me go, calf struck. All right, I hope I get that right. I'm a little tired today. 
Still sort of worn out, but it's not bad, not bad. Just tired. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Check your ankles. Make sure they're not coming in. Seven, six, wait, five, four, three, woo, two, and one. Shake it out, shake it out. We have one more time. Again, toes point inward. So not only did I get a new phone, you know what else I got? Got a new microwave. Very exciting. So I don't know if I told you guys, like three or four weeks ago, my husband went to microwave like some leftovers over a cardboard box. Somehow I got stuck against the radiation port and I got caught a fire, which was bad. Um, we actually sort of cleaned it out and um, it was doing okay. And I'll tell you the rest of the story in a minute. Last round. Here we go. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job! That concludes calves. Woo, I bet you're happy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so our microwave was just uh, hanging out. And then one day I went to like, I just wanted to like soften the butter. So I put it in there for like, I put it in for a minute, but I was like, I'm just gonna stay in there for three seconds and just pull it out. Remember like things with some of Palpatine's fingers and Star Wars, like the like fire uh, lightning? That was what was going on in our microwave. I don't know, I, I like, I felt like my heart, like skip a beat and I'm like, stop, stop. And um, so I decided at that point I probably don't want to use the microwave. So, I'm supposed to arrive on Saturday, just arrived today, brand new, unpacked it. It's missing the wheels <laughs> for the turntable. table. So now I gotta wait, they're like, it's taking a week to hack the part. All right, what that dude. So we sort of have a microwave, we sort of don't, it's very exciting. What are we going to do now? Let's do some deadlift, all right? So remember, you are hinging at the hips. So your knees are slightly bent, feet shoulder width apart, facing forward, all right? You are presenting the booty, bringing the booty back, going mid shin, Coming up and not overextending the top, coming vertical, squeezing the glutes. We're gonna get started in a minute. I wanna see what Craig did. <laughs> yeah. So we got a new microwave, it's all good, sort of. And uh, what's hilarious is that the microwave, well, hold on, let's do a set of deadlifts first. I'm gonna handle myself. <laughs> I've talked about this microwave for hours. The iPhone, man, who gives a shit? But the microwave, all right. So you're gonna start mid shift, knees bent. Here we go, booty back, come up. Let's try for 12. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, and 12. Whew, I forgot to go back down, sorry. I'm working with someone who like, well, finish the one portion of the move and I forget to like, go back down. I'm like, no, 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 go back down. All right, so anyway, this microwave is on a drawer that pulls out and the clearance is only 10 inches. Did you know that like, 99% of microwaves are taller than 10 inches these days. So we had like two options. And I think the one that wasn't gonna have all the parts with it. All right, that concludes the exciting story of microwaves in our household. I never realized how much I used a microwave until we didn't have it. 
I use it to eat leftovers all the time. I was just like, oh, we're having cold pasta. Oh, we're having cold rice. Oh, we're having cold this. Yeah, very happy to have it back. I tried the other thing. It's so much work just to heat something up, you know? It's sort of a waste. All right, round two. Here we go. One. Keeping that back straight. Two. Three. Squeeze my boots at the top. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. to be shatterproof, but I like to consider myself a beta tester. If anybody can break anything, I'm a girl. So far, so good. Also, it's funny because with cell phone numbers now, I got a new cell phone number, which is very exciting. I'm officially the 85 now. Woot woot. Let's finish this last set. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. What's interesting is that. Nowadays, if someone retires a phone number, they give it to someone else like really quickly. Apparently, I got someone's phone number because I'm trying to like swap out my phone number at all these different websites and stuff. And two places are like, that phone number's already registered. Amazon said, hey, if you do this, you can't access whatever. And I was like, it's fine. Venmo won't let me change it. <laughs> They're like, you have to provide proof of ownership, blah, blah, blah. And I sent them something they're like, not good enough. And I was like, seriously, dudes? Like, anyway, so that's fun. And everyone was like, yeah, dude, I know what I was like, that doesn't matter. I can't get in. My gripe of the day, thank you. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to set the 40s aside. We're going to do my least favorite thing now, which are Bulgarian split squats. Split. Why do they call them split squats? I mean, split squats versus a lunge. I sort of think it was like an elevated lunge, but what do I know? Just a trainer. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go pretty. I'm going <laughs> to not go super heavy because I probably am going to be bad at these. Now, you have options. You can put your toes on the bench. For some people, this is comfortable, um, or the chair. For some people, including myself, it's more comfortable to put the whole top of the foot on the bench. So it depends on like the height and your distance. But what I want you to think about, all right, is seeing, you want to try to have your torso back. So you see how here my torso is upright, but my legs are sort of like split evenly at the top. I want you to bring your torso back. So this is going to make it more quad dominant and more miserable. <laughs> at least in my opinion. Can I tell you how much I hate these? I hate these. But Craig, this is those I'm so glad you're here to do these with me. So I'm going to attempt 10 on each side. I don't know how well it's going to go. Set a number for yourself. Let's say an 8 to 12 range if you're lifting really heavy. If you don't have, if this isn't challenging for you, do more or grab heavier weights until it becomes challenging. All right, but I'm going to go for 10 on each side. Wish me luck. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Down. Up. Torso upright. 3. 4. Try to get low. 5. Six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Whew. Slow down your feet. Get your balance. Balance is important. Here we go. Down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Get that torso upright. Six. Seven. Oh my gosh. Woo. Eight. Nine. And ten. Shake it out. Hi, YouTube. Give me a high five. All right, we're one set down, Craig. We've got two more. By the way, my hair is freaking long. I'm sick of it. I'm going to chop it. Chop it off. We're doing time. Oh, wow. Okay. Round two. Get yourself comfortable. As comfortable as, well, it's not that comfortable. Here we go. Three, two, one. Down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Whew, shake it out. Oh. No fan. Here we go. Down. Two. Three. This is my pace. If you want to go slower, if you take your time, go for it. Six, I believe. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh. We made it round two. High five. It's a good thing that today is not arm day. Because in the arm, we'd be high five. But today it's like high five. We got one more round. I feel like we need to breathe in hard because large muscle groups get your heart rate going. All right. Last time, each leg. We're gonna get through this. We're in this together. Here we go. Three, two, one. Down. Two. Three. Oh my God. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, swap it out. <laughs> Taking my time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Don't lean forward. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Oh. So nicely done. Woo. Walking a little weird. Oh. All right. Let's work our abductors and abductors. So we're going to do side to side squats. You can give me choice. Whatever height works for you. So, high, low, all the way low, okay? I'm going to start high, so I'm going to get lower each time. Do this at your level. I know hip mobility is a big issue on this one. So if you can only go high, that's fine. Do that. All right, we're all going to go together. We're going to do eight each way. I'm going to grab my heavy. This is the heaviest weight I have in my gym. I only have one of them. I'm going to regret it. I'm also going to get it tough. Oh, very nice. How are you doing? 
Where are the handle? All right. I'm going to start high, whatever level works for you. If you have one weight, you're going to grab it on the ends, hold it here. I'm going to grab my kettlebell, hold it here in my chest, okay? So hold it your chest. Trying to keep your chest, your torso upright. If you're bending over a lot, think about coming up a little bit and keeping your torso over vertical. I want to make sure you're not, because it's putting a lot of strain on your back, okay? So I keep our torso up, right? All right. Oh. It was bad when I need to like, need help lifting it. All right, when I say 80 side, yeah. Here we go. So one, one, two, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, I'm gonna go to ten. Nine, ten, oh, shake it up. Whew. So I'm reading this book, The Glue Lab. It's written just by this guy, Mark Contreras. Um, if you ever wanted to have like the big juicy booty. He's the guy to go to. But he's you know talking about all these different training methods and he's like, you can do all sorts of crazy, you know, resist the centric movements. And he's like, at the end of the day, you just do regular, regular lifting, you still get a great workout. So we're going along those lines. But he has some fun stuff in there I want to try in the future. So I'm gonna keep reading about it. And maybe you'll see it in the future JRF workout. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go a little lower. I need help lifting the weight. All right, I'm gonna do 10 each side. Are you gonna do eight or 10? Either way, do what you can. Here we go. One, one, two, three, I'm only gonna do eight, <laughs> four, five, six, Seven, ah, eight, oh my god, nine, <coughs> ten, oh, oh, hang on a minute. Talk amongst yourselves. Holy Roman Empire. Let's see the holy, holy Roman, Roman Empire discuss. Craig, how you doing? Sound life. Oh my gosh. Whew. You're working out with me, you haven't said hi. Say hello. Great to hear from you. Alright. We've got one more round. I'm gonna go full classic slot on this. Again, do what's successful to you. Eight to ten reps. Or unless you wear fancy pants, you want to keep going. You can just keep doing classic slots until the end of the workout. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. Alright, Craig. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh look, I didn't need him. I'm so screwed. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. One. <laughs> Don't fall backwards. Three. Four, five, six, oof, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Oh. oh. Me. I hope so. Good job. Let me waddle on over. Awesome job. How you feeling? Oh. Grab some water. Tell myself off. Similar to the um, 
calf raises. We're going to do two sets of 20, okay? We're going to do two different, two <laughs> different formations, okay? And we're going to do weighted. So what I want you to do is I want you to grab a weight. You're going to have it. First time, your feet are going to be parallel. Using your hands to hold the weight in place, making sure it doesn't snap your face. All right? So I'm going to grab, well, let's see if it feels comfortable. No, it's too light. Now we're going back to glutes. All right, a horrible exercise for our claws in the next round. So get ready for it. All right. So, put the weight in your hips. You're going to squeeze the hands in there just to keep the weight in place. And oh, wait. Wait for it, wait for it. Hey, there we go. All right. So, we're going to do two sets of 20. Feet. Shoulder width apart, and um, keep going in place. Squeezing the glutes at the top. Nice line from your knees to the shoulders. Not overarching. Don't need to overarch. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it up. That was really fun for you. We've got one more round. <sighs> All right. Grab some water. For the record, Lady Murphy's girl wants to party all the time. Just so you know. Alright. Next round, my friends. I'm going to go up a little bit. <laughs> Remember, watch out. I mean, watch out for the baby makers. Watch out for your jelly. <laughs> Alright. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, less ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a break. Oh. All right, so now we've got those two sets out of the way. We're going to do two sets, what Mr. Contreras refers to as frog pumps. So basically, your feet are together. You want your hips out as wide as you can. If your hips are like, if, or, sorry, your knees. You want your knees out as wide as you can. If your knees are up like this, you're going to feel it less than if it's here. Now, obviously, if you have trouble, with mobility, just try your best. But really try to fight to get those knees closer to the ground, okay? This is the one way in which I'm flexible, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. Craig, hope you're doing well. We're gonna do another set of 20. Now if these are new, and having it weighted is a little awkward for you, just do it in weight, it's totally cool. Start out slow, but basically the same principle. Oh. All right, so knees as far as part as you can get them. Looking so gentlemanly and ladylike. Here we go. Three, two, one. One. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it up. Oof. Ah, fun times, right? We've got one more round. So again, feet together, knees 
out. And uh, other than that, it's just regular blue bridge movement. I like these to go by faster. <laughs> All right, last round. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze the bubble. Nine. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh, get this off of your, <laughs> get this off of me. Awesome job. How you feeling? How you feeling? All right, cool. It's working. Things are working. How you doing? Hanging in there? Yeah, those look funny, and they're called frog pumps, so they look they look and sound suggestive. Um, yesterday I had the misfortune of a troll coming out of my workout. Um, this is actually why it's not posted. Uh, I, I shut it off halfway down. Uh, and um, the man was being rather obscene. And I look at my exercises and I'm like, oh god, I'm doing frog pumps next. Like, after he just made an obscene comment, I'm doing like the <laughs> most obscene looking exercises. And uh, yeah, it was unpleasant. And um, yeah, so I apologize if you were going to do the animal workout. We're going to have to do a redux at one point, because it was a really fun workout. Um, I finished it on my own. No one was, no one was watching except trolls. Um, I would like to do it again. All right. So we're going to do some... We haven't just done straight squats, have we? No, because we're doing a quad exercise. Yeah, that's what we're doing now. All right. We haven't done these in forever. So sometimes I'm going through my old workouts. Um, it's interesting how you can get into, you know, like an exercise where like, like you just you find an exercise you like to keep doing it, and then you forget other ones that are really great. Um, so I haven't done this in a while, and I did it yesterday, and it's good. So falling tower. So you are stiff as board up here. You are leaning back as far as you can go, coming back up, isolating the quads. It's going to be miserable but good in a miserable and good way. And, um, all right, we are going to do 10. Remember, sometimes people have a tendency to like lead with their butt, nope, 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 straight line, okay? So, less range of motion with a straight line is more desirable than, ooh, look at this. That's, that's not the move, okay? So, hands across your chest because they're not helping you. And we're going to do 10. Here we go. One, two, keeping everything neutral. Three, woo. Four, I'm feeling this in my quads. <laughs> Five, how far can you go? Six, I've seen videos where like, <laughs> they go like 80 degrees back. I'm like, what? Seven, Eight, nine, and ten. All right. Next round, I want you to pay attention to your pelvis, okay? So if you're sticking your butt out a lot, tuck your hips under a little bit, okay? You're not tucking them up like this. But just making sure, if you're starting to feel it here, just do a little check. Do you need to tuck your hips under, okay? I'm going to grab some water, pound out. The cat or the quads? Not the calves. Well, you can pound up the calves too if they're sort of familiar. Calf stuff doesn't feel as bad. Maybe I'll feel it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm feeling it in my claws right now. It's really bad. All right. Round two. Here we go. One. Two. <laughs> okay, what's my range of motion? Sucky. Three. 
I'm not going to be Instagram famous with this range of motion, but that's okay. I am just doing what I can as should you. Six, seven, maybe you pay attention to what you're doing right now. Eight, and next time if you're like, I'm going to go just a little bit lower, and I take some videos and see how you did. That's ten. Take a break. Woo. Yikes. Two, two rounds in, two rounds in. We got one more. Uh. All right, you ready for this last round? Of course you are. Uh. I'm gonna change up the scenery for this one. Why? Oh my gosh, she's facing the other way. It's standing. All right. Notice. My feet are not being supported by anything. Um, you should be able to do these without having your feet hooked on anything. Um, so, and I just have my feet flat on the ground. You can do this, but sometimes what people do is, if their toes are up, they'll, they'll start to squeeze, they'll tighten their calves and start to help them, and then they start to cramp and stuff. So, I usually find it just better to have your feet, the top of your feet flat on the floor. Flat on the floor. All right, done chatting, here we go, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. And ten. Nicely done, nicely done. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Give me a high five. Blink right in the head. Oh, snap. Sorry about that. All right. <sighs> we're going to do one more move. And then we're going to go ten minutes of abs today. We're doing a full ten minutes. Holy schmanky. Okay? All right, we're gonna work that frontal plane again. So I'm gonna grab a couple of weights. You have a choice if you wanna hold one weight in front of you, two weights by your sides. We're doing curtsy lunges. And we are going to do, oh. We're gonna do one more. We're gonna do, we're gonna do some. <laughs> we're gonna do some curtsy lunges and we're done. I'm not going to grab my 40s because after that cost of squat, oh my gosh, that was horrible. All right. Move this out of the way. All right, so I'm going to try having these uh, torso as upright as possible. There might be a slight forward lean. Try to keep the weights at your side. Unlike the side lunges, heavy weights to your side shouldn't get in the way, okay? As you're doing these first lunges, see how far you can go. See how low you can go. All right? And if I remember, at the end I'll show you a fun party trick. All right. Uh, let's do, what do we do for classic squat? Ten? We're going to do ten alternating. Yeah, we're going to do ten alternating. Ten each side. Here we go. One. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight. Eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Nice. Shake it up. Oh. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get some air. Get some water. Calm yourself down. We've got two more rounds. Uh. 
How are you doing, Craig? You doing good? Doing well? Let's get started on the second round. Because I want to make sure we have time for a full 10 minutes of abs. Alright, here we go. 3, 2, 1. 1. 1. 2. 2. 3. 3. 4. Four, shoulders back. Five. Five. What's this song? I don't know what's going on here. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. One more inside. Ten. And ten. Get the heart rate up. What? This does not make sense. Huh. Axel up from Beverly Hills Cop. I can't believe this song is this. I thought it was. song because it's annoying me so much. I'm going to head into uh, head to toe, Lisa Lisa and Paul Jam. Three, two, one, here we go. Alright, so we're doing, enjoy this break while my uh, app, I gotta just break down and get <laughs> Get the updated version. Can you say something? <laughs> All right. You are ready for 10 minutes of abs. I'm excited. You're excited. I don't know what we're going to do, so I'm just going to make it up as we go along. But don't worry, we're going to hit everything. Starting in 10. Got some Lisa Lisa on Cult Jam. Awesome. And. Here we go, so I'm just straight up crunches. Nose straight towards the ceiling. Imagine a string is pulling your nose towards the ceiling. Your hands are your, behind your neck or at the side of your head, but they are not helping. They are just there hanging up. They're just <laughs> hanging out, all right? Your core is what's getting you towards the ceiling. Keep going, keep going. Got about 20 seconds left. Hang in there. Got 
10 more seconds. Three, flip over in two, one, let's do just a low plank hold. Pushing up through your shoulders, making sure your butt's not up in the air. Nice straight line. Pushing back through your heels, bracing through your core and your legs. Making sure that your shoulders are over your elbows, line to make a little adjustment there. Head neutral spine, not hanging down, looking at your feet. Twenty-three seconds. Pushing back to those heels. We're gonna flip over in ten seconds. Flip over. Hands to your sides. Legs straight up in the air, lifting those heels up. Remember, this is a small movement. Your feet are not going over your head, they're going straight up. So we just do a little contraction down here. You just raise them a few inches. Keep going. You've got 24 seconds. I'm sweating. Oof. Actually, my name is Jane, but I'm sweating too. My name is Sweaty McGee. Like, <laughs> you got six more seconds. I'm scooching over. You'll know, see why I'm in it. All right, bend your knees, arms out to the side. Knees come down to the side. Keeping both shoulders on the ground, using your core. Bring it side to side. If your shoulder starts to come off the ground, you're done with your range of motion. Trying to keep these bends at 90 degrees. Use your core to bring it back up. Keep going, keep going. All right, sit up. One leg bent. You're going to come in and up. In, up. Torso is a slight curve in the back. Okay? If this starts to hurt your back, shake it out. Sit up tall. Engage your core and sit back. When I first started doing this move, I was like, oh, this is so painful on my back. But then as my core got stronger, I realized it didn't hurt anymore. I'm going to do this for a minute on each side. When you raise the one leg, see if you can get knee to knee. Okay? Hands are in front of the glutes. They're not back here. This is not the move because this is a lot easier. Did you have to adjust this now? <laughs> Three, two, one. Shake it out. Go to the other side. Again, if your back is starting to feel funky, reset, get back in. Slight curve in the spine, keeping your curved core engaged. for the next two minutes. We've got 15 more seconds on this one.
five, three, two, one. Come on down in the dead bug. You're going to press one hand against the other knee, keeping engaged, pressing really hard as you do dead bug with the other leg and hand. So opposite hand and foot going down. And right now I have my right knee pressing against my left hand, my left hand pressing against my right knee, creating tension in the core for stabilization. And I'm just doing dead bug, oof. I'm trying to come up to a good 90 degree angle. I can't really tell what's going on in the camera there. Oh. I've never done this for a minute before. If you feel your back start to arch, reset. That's what I just did. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Let's go to the other side. Keeping tension, pressing against hand and knee, that's the key here. Get that extra deep core engagement. Oof. Another trick, tip that you can do, sometimes if you have your head tilted up and it's not too harsh on your neck, you can use that to help keep your back flat to the ground. Oh. You're going to take a break, shake it out. Ten more seconds. Keep pressing, hand to knee. Oh. Three, two, one. Flip it over. All right, cross body, knee. So cross body non climber. Notice I'm coming nice and slowly because I'm taking a break. We're kind of all twisting today. We've got 22 seconds left. Feel free to shake it out. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Flip it over. We're doing scissors. Last minute. This is your last minute. Again. It's been a while since we've done a full ten minutes of abs. It's good. Challenging. Or myself included. Again, if you're feeling your back, start to arch. Reset. If it's not too much strain, you can have your head off the ground. We've got 22 seconds left. Almost done. And then you can go declare victory on this workout. 12. 6 seconds. Hey in there. Three, two, one. You're done! Whew. That was a, was a challenging one. What you think of that new, new and improved dead bug? Did you like it? Of course you did. Awesome job! Woo! Oh, Craig, you great. How are you feeling? for the next five minutes. Just kidding. Oh. All right. Good job. Na, 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 na. All right. So, let's get to that last 
slow song, shall we? Last song. Here we go. Three, two, one. Time to cool it down. Oh, yeah. All right. Inhale. Exhale for a fold. Stretching out that low back. Moving my hips back and forth. Or forward and back to stretch the lower back. Leaning forward, feet flexed, stretch the hamstrings. All right, bring your feet together, butterfly. Woo. So today, what is anything fancy? Just what do you say? Good heart, American heart. Arr. Honk, honk, that's right. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's do, uh, oh, let's do pigeon pose, my favorite pose. Just gonna start high. Bring that hip down to the floor. And then walking it forward. Again, pressing that hip. Pressing this hip into the ground. Come on over to the other side. Woo! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the one place where I'm flexible. Thank you very much. All right, come on down. Oh, I forgot to show you the party trick. There's a party trick. With uh, the curtsy lunge. See if I can remember this after the, the stretch. Let's stand up. Ooh. So I just want to say thank you so much for doing this workout with me. You know that one stronger for showing up. It's so much fun to work out with friends and family. Craig, awesome job today. We're going to put one foot over the other. And, uh, Lean to the side. So my right foot is in front, I'm leaning to my left. So if I do it the other way, yeah, I don't feel it as much. All right, cross your left foot over or the other foot over. So you're leaning to the opposite side of whatever foot's in front. This workout makes you smile, makes you sweat. You feel like you can digital dollars in a way. Hey, pal, Venmo. Don't use my phone number for Venmo. I'll use my email address. Stretch your quads, knees together, hips forward. Oof. And, um, yeah, Zell. Ch or check the money order, send the PO box, 666, Jane Reaction in Fitness Industries. Switch to the other side. Ooh, the quad. <laughs> oh, my, my quads are going to be feeling it. Um, let's see what else I have going on this week. I don't remember. Oh, I think there's a yoga block workout on Friday. Oh, I just noticed I'm going to have to change my Thursday morning workout, whatever it is, because unfortunately I have a conflict and... Uh, the conflict always wins. Not that I don't love you. If you want to win, <laughs> you have to donate. How <laughs> about that? Let's go inside to side, hold it. Oof. Switch the nose. Inner thighs. Head down, butt up. Interlock your arms and legs, or arms and <laughs> elbows. Words are hard. Swing side to side, swinging. Oh. Come on back down, and we will finish the child's pose. Oh, that feels nice. Oh. Is there any other stretching that you want to do? By all means, go for it. I am going to conclude here. Fred, awesome job today. Thank you so much for working out with me. Anyone else who's doing this workout, thank you for working out with me too. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day or rest of your evening. 
and I hope to see you again later this week. All right, love you. Bye.